Righto, uh, last but uh, certainly not least, I just want to show um, how we illustrate a monopoly making a normal profit. So we go pretty much through the same routine. This time we pick up the average cost curve. And let's see, we've got to position it around about there. You'll see why in a moment, but I mean, more importantly, of course, the minimum is still cutting the marginal cost curve, but its particular position is quite important because when I pick up my um, my vertical my vertical line, uh, it's just pick that up You're horizontal at the moment, but uh, make that vertical run that up through there. You see that should anyway. That's that's that line. That dotted line has run up to the um, the demand curve, which is the blue curve, uh, and it also happens to coincide coincide with the um, with the um, black curve, which is clearly the cost curve. Let's just do that in. Actually, might make it easier. There we go. So. Let's put those labels in there. Um, first of all, we've identified Q max again. MC equals MR. Or MR equals MC. Um, now, what about what about the price? Well, let's take let's take this price line and put it in here. Now you'll notice at that point, that point represents both price. And cost, they both happen to coincide at the same point. So cost and price are the same in this situation. Now, you're getting very familiar with this idea now that um, profit is total revenue minus total cost, and of course, in this particular case, uh, total revenue minus total cost is going to be zero. Um, and so we would normally think well that's no profit but in an economic in an economic definition what we're calling that is normal profit and the reason it's normal profit is because we're talking economic profit and as all of you know now economic profit includes not just accounting profit but also opportunity cost okay hope that was helpful